Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to Raid. We've got the Rathalos. It is, today is Rathalos Day, right? Everybody's getting Rathalos. I thought I'll test him out. I've done uh, already run on Ultra Nightmare with him on Spirit, where he is weak affinity and test his damage out. I'm, I'm quite impressed, quite impressed. I've already seen some videos out. I've been testing him later on today. I didn't uh, stay up until uh, 3 a.m. To, to actually test him. But let's go and have a look at Rathalos, guys and see his true potential. From my testing so far, he's quite an interesting champion. Where, where, where is he? All right, there he, there he is. He's quite an interesting champion. The way that his passive works, the way that everything that he does works, makes him very interesting. He could have been a void, honestly, with the amount of detailed skill that he has, where you need to be doing specific set of attacks in order to get the maximum amount of benefit. Um, so he could have been a void, honestly, and we got him for free. So that's a really big, big positive for, um, for, well, January, the start of the year, right? So I've built him with 5,000 attack, nothing too crazy. The speed that I have on him is a little bit too much though. 263 speed on Rathalos. And um, yeah, that might sound like a lot, but it's still uh, very much doable for the clan boss. What, I've, what I will be doing for the clan boss is doing him in a three to one ratio. So I wanted to see on how um, much more damage he'll be doing when he's attacking three times um, to the one that the boss will be taking and uh, yeah getting maximum benefit out of that you can translate his damage much much higher if you give him more attack way less speed a more average looking Rathalos would have about the same attack right but 100% less speed and a little bit less crit damage but as you're progressing you're making your your uh, champion better Rathalos will benefit with more and more and more gear with you know empowerment if you got any extra black knights you're going to give it uh, to him if you want to and get him a little bit stronger. But I don't think many people will. Black Knight seems to be eluding uh, my account. I only have one. <laughs> I only have one. And it's the time that I would wish to have more. So Savage said on him, the reason for this is that his A2 does not always ignore defense. From my testing, you got to do this the second time uh, to do the AOE attack. It's a very specific skill, right? If it's a boss, you'd be ignoring 100% of the defense if it's not you'll be ignoring 25 percent. so as savage said makes sense to always have it on him in terms of overall um usage i don't think this guy will be an arena champion his aoe multiplier is kind of low it's a 4.1 on his a2 and a 4 on his a3 3.2 on his a1 why am i saying this well this is important because yes this can go double 200 percent more damage is it even double is it triple it might be triple actually 200% more damage you're doing 100% damage right 200% more in my head that's 300% damage but I might be wrong plus 50% extra with the age reburns that's a lot of damage boost potential like multipliers on, on top of multipliers that you can do the problem here will be actually to stacking everything up in the arena you won't be able to stack age reburns for the most part and you will also not be able to do five skills in a row even if one of them is considered the the a1 from my testing i found that a1 is considered a skill so you can be skipping your attacks and doing a1s and then do the the a2 to get the big burst of damage or you can disable the a3 um which i haven't done for the clan boss run but we'll see on how that works um in terms of masteries i went helm smasher that that's very good for anything other than hitting bosses because on bosses you'll be ignoring 100 percent uh, defense for bosses you can go flawless execution if you're just strictly going to use him for clan boss which i wasn't going to do for this testing so that's why i went for helm smasher for clan boss you can even go war master actually for more overall damage but i think flawless execution can also in theory uh, be quite good because he's not limited by enemy max health he's a a normal damage dealer right like um you know any other damage dealer that's not you know a crazy uh, you know, uh, any enemy max HP is limited by 10%. So, uh, that being said, let's go and have a look at him in, well, I'll show you guys in the arena, but he's, as I said, it's not, it's not really, really possible to actually take him in there and, and see big results. I don't think he's going to be used so often in the arena. There, there won't be fight that, that will go that long in higher end arena that it's going to matter. Lower end, you're going to see a bunch of Rathalos all over the place. So make sure you have a way to uh, to kill him before he just goes crazy with the amount of turns that he's taking and the hits that he can possibly do. So here, we, although we slept them, um, might as well go for the AOE because his A1 
we'll just hit uh, UDK here. So I might as well do the AOE here, see some damage. Nothing really. We we went through the shield, but um, because of Pythion's passive, well, let's just strengthen as well. We're gonna have some problems here. Uh, actually, I could have done A2 here and then reset with Kaimar. Could have done that so that the next A2 would be an AOE. Um, block buffs. All right, let's see. Oh, so many debuffs on me. That Wukong is definitely uh, not our friend. So let's see. This should be our third skill. So I might as well use the A1 there. All right. Now we actually need the, the increased attack. It should be the fourth skill, but still. Or is it? Was it the fifth skill? No, I used A3, A2, A1. Yeah, that, that was three. And then A2. But 160k, yeah. You, you can see on how long it's going to take for you to stack it up. But, you know, big damage if, if the fight goes for a long time. So if he remains unchecked, if you don't pay attention to him. He's going to go in there and do some big damage, as, as you can see. All right, in terms of damage testing, let's just go and have a quick look. I'm not going to go crazy here. Just going to have an HP Baron, defense down weaken, and an increased attack. Not going to go crazy with everything else. Could do bad. Could do bad L. Uh, could do Venus here. Um, No, let's just not go crazy with everything else. I know the damage could have been way higher, but let's just... Let's just run with this and uh, see how it does. So defense down weekend. If we do the HP burn here, um, the A1 initially. So the first time we use a skill. So every fifth skill used. Yeah. So, so this will do 260. Nice. That HP burn really ramps up your damage potential. Really ramps it up. 260. So across the board. Yeah, that would have been a lot of damage. If, if that was the AOE, so 260, uh, that's number two. Skill number two. I wonder if counterattacks count. Is that number three though? Is that considered number three? Because I saw the passive there. I believe that's from the HU Baron. So that's number four. Whoa, 400,000. Yeah, I think it definitely counts counter attacks i didn't expect that i didn't think of that um through my testing initially but it seems like even counter attacks matter here so counter attack teams ally attack teams that though all of those are going to help you do as much damage as possible with that a2 um ideally so here yeah we hit 138k so yeah those counter attacks gave us way more damage than it should uh, because we stacked up the the A1, so that's not one, that's two. And I have nothing on me right now. That's three. Uh, I need to go on the ne the next wave. That's four. All right. This this will be number five. Okay. This should be number five. We we are on the next round though, so I wonder if it's actually gonna work. So number five. Let's put this on a one X. Uh, we already did the A2 before, but even so, 912 damage. Yeah, that, that, that counted for sure. 912,000 damage. Insane though. Almost a million. Almost a million. And then what do we have? Increased attack, defense down weekend, and an H reburn with very minimal stats. So it's A2, 280k. Very strong. Very strong. Very strong. Let's see the boss damage though now. So here... That's uh second skill. It should does it count the skill if you use it already? Not sure. So this should be skill number three. That's gonna be his A1. And then please I wanna I wanna get an increased attack. There we go. So now his A2. His A2 now should be big damage, right? 
Um, no, that's not that's not what I was expecting. Three hundred k. Hmm. Unfortunately, now when I hit, it's gonna be the A one. It's gonna be the the one. Yeah, look at that. Half a million with his A1. Even the A1 hits so much when you have everything stacked up. That's so good. That's so good. So, um, again, one. Just do the A1. I guess you can even disable. That's two. The counterattacks work so nice. Let's see. That's three. Ah, oh, man, we're going to kill the boss through Brimstone. No. Uh, that's four. Please let me do it. The boss is going to kill himself. Is he? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. That's... That should be five. Put it on one X. One one million forty six with just the defense down, we can um our attack there and that that was it with five thousand attack. It's so good, so good. Is he gonna be the huge boss killer? Uh, like like ninja? I think ninja is way faster. But of course, I was running this with four damage dealers. Um, I don't know how this would translate much much easier in terms of like using big AOE attacks. Because you need him to attack like four times to enable his fifth skill. And if that's going to be the AoE, that's going to clear it. Um, it's going to be very difficult to set him up properly. To actually get advantage of that big, big passive. But that's going to work the, the best into the clan boss. And that's where we're going to go next. So on the clan boss, I've already done a run on um, Ultra Nightmare Spirit. I'm going to have a look at that in just now to see how much damage we do. And then we'll come back and actually do a run on Nightmare where it's going to be Force. And this time around, I'm going to disable his A3 and see how much damage we can do. Because if I disable his A3, we won't get the increased speed, but it's fine because of the team I'm running. I'm running Elva team with the Mitha and him. And this is a 3 to 1 ratio team. So if I disable his A3, his A1 will still count in terms of damage. And there will be more chances for him to actually do his big damage burst through the fifth skill. Instead of doing overhead slash, he's gonna be doing this one. The 30% crit damage would be nice. Unfortunately, I couldn't do Fire King the Fat here in this team um, because of the amount of buffs that you get on Elva. But, um, but still, we're gonna see some, we should see some solid damage on Force. So yeah, let's go and have a look at Ultra Armero Spirit and we'll come back on Force.
And just like that, guys, an ultra nightmare. 17 minutes in, we did 25, almost 26 million damage uh, with the build on the spirit, where we are hitting weak, like a third of our hits on average. Like a third of our hits are not even landing. So I'm not even sure how it works with his skills, but I'm, I'm I still think that with his skill, the fifth attack, even if it's a weak hit, it's still gonna hit for 200% of the damage, but still it's gonna be a weak hit. So I, I would see some numbers along the runs uh, of like 111,000 damage from a weak hit, which is still very solid. And with the gear that we have, I mean, I mean, didn't have masteries on the beta, didn't have masteries on Elva. Seeker, I could have done a um, toxic set there to provide even more damage. But overall, we did very, very solid amount of damage. I didn't put on Elva a blessing there like Brimstone, which could have given us extra damage. My Venus was barely built because she's my arena Venus. And then I, I just moved some gear around to make her work with for the age reburn specifically, the poisons and the defense down weekend. And uh, yeah, Rathalos did a very solid amount of damage, 75.49 million. Going to that three to one ratio really, really gives that um, advantage in terms of the damage potential. And um, if I wasn't hitting Spirit, I believe the damage would have still been high. And guys, we're back now. Okay, Nightmare, um, let's go and test it out now. If you are interested on this build, I'll have a link down below for Elva, but it's it's like a really fast Elva team with the Mitha. Basically, Elva plays the role of Ares, I believe, where she, she'll be cleansing um, every time. And Blade Master can actually take the stun. It, it's gonna be totally fine. Just make sure you don't have any champions on the DPS side where they give buffs to the team because with Elva, she'll be stacking up a ton of buffs. So I didn't really go um, too heavy on damage on everybody, but everybody is, is just built to do the showcase, really, it's a showcase for for this guy. So um, this guy, in terms of speed, I will uh, need to put him back to 265 that I had him before. I dropped him a little bit for the uh, showcase in the dragon, but this is the setup. Basically, A2 is going to be used by Elva. A1 opener, A2, A3. A2 is priority, and then uh, Venus. We want the HU Baron, obviously. But this is a four turn cooldown, so that might be actually be bad for the run. But anyway, and, and Seeker, you can actually drop his speed by another five or so, and he'll still be great. In terms of this dude, I disabled the A3. I want to see the damage difference here with the A3 disabled. The A2, the A3 wasn't disabled on the um, Spirit run, and we did a one key. So um, this should be quite high. Uh, I guess I'm going to close the run. Going to see a few of the turns, close the run, then come back and do a quick battle. To see the total in the end all right so let's go into the fight uh it's just full auto from the start there's no need to uh worry about anything and it should be affinity friendly after about three turns or so there's the a1 love to see the h burn landing from venus did she get resisted or something didn't notice 223. We'll see the big number pop up. Well, that's going to be when he uses his um, stacked skill. That was 339k. Might have been his his big skill. 616. Maybe that's the skill. We got to see. <laughs> we got to see on how this uh, goes on and on. Um, I guess it doesn't matter on Nightmare because on Nightmare, regardless of the defense that he's got, um, I mean, Rathalos will be ignoring 100% of it. So Rathalos just needs the HP Baron, basically. At all points, he needs the HP Baron, which unfortunately, with the build that I have of Venus, is not going to be possible for that long. But on a 60k, it's not it. All right, there it is. Defense down weekend. 600k. It chills 600k without even really, um, you know, bothering here. So yeah, let's exit the run and, and do a total damage recap and see um, like a quick run to, do the, to see the total damage recap at the end. But it should be like a one key because right now we're five turns with 7 million damage. So at 50, we should be about 70 million damage also here. So quite a, quite a cool thing. The, I, actually, the way that his passive works because you don't need to actually do the skill. I would imagine... We're going to cleanse now. Great. Um, I would imagine that using him in a bad eater setup, you can actually still get a lot of benefit because of 
uh, pain keeper reducing your cooldowns. You won't have the HP burn in a, in a normal body tier team, but pain keeper will be great there to help you out uh, with your cooldowns and just do your A2 uh, more times than you normally would. And then uh, you'll remain unkillable. You've got Seeker. If we had a set that uh, applies an HP burn, that would have made this guy insane on the clown boss would have made him insane but uh yeah let's just exit and we'll come back and do do another quick run all right we're back let's do a quick battle and see the total damage um for the round quite cool that he does his his uh passive it doesn't he doesn't actively need to do his a3 his a3 gives him that increased damage which is great but if you got another way to buff him up that actually eliminates the a3 from being in the possibility of being used as um, as a skill, right? The way that counterattacks work, though, that also helps his passive activate. The way the masteries work, the same thing. It's quite random. You can uh, you cannot really go and do it um, so that he only uses the A2 specifically for the big big hit with the 200% more damage. You can change up his mastery. You don't have the defensive masteries, but I would say that will eliminate your damage in the long run because of the amount of time since you will benefit out of, uh, you know, the retribution from, you know, the stun hit on the boss or when the, the enemies are dropping health. So let's do the quick battle and see the, the total recap in the end. And 87.66 with, with Rathalos doing a 43 million damage. That's, that's quite cool. That's quite cool. I wonder how much that would have been on Ultra Nightmare, but unfortunately on Ultra Nightmare, I, I did the run and it's Spirit. So there's no real way for me to actually test it. Uh, but I would imagine because you're still ignoring 100% of the boss's health on the A2, the damage should be about the same. So yeah, this run, 75 million damage uh, was quite good as well. Yeah, this was Rathalos, guys. I will be testing him out a little bit more as time passes and, and make a video uh, again pretty soon. For uh, Hydra, of course, he's going to be a real high damage dealer. But uh, yeah, until the reset happens, I won't have a real chance to test him out. I want to see him in the spot where my Acrisia is and, and how big damage, uh, how much big damage he can actually do in there. So yeah, this was the video, guys. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.